welcome to uh, Vancouver. Just your reaction to the trade uh, and how you found out about it. Um, I mean, it's crazy now you find out on Twitter, right? Um, I was just kind of sitting upstairs um, hanging out and I just saw a bunch of stuff on Twitter that, you know, it was a big rumor going around and um, kind of texted uh, O and, and asked him and, and he said he's, he's heard it's pretty much done. So that's kind of how I found out. And, you know, it's just, uh, it was excitement. Obviously uh, going to a great city, a great team is, uh, you know, it's pretty awesome. So, you know, I figured I'd be getting traded this off season. And then, um, you know, to find out it was Vancouver, I was, you know, awfully excited. Where do you see your fit with the Canucks and, and what this group can potentially accomplish, especially after this trade with Oliver and, and you both joining the team? Yeah, I think both of us are just coming in to try to help him, uh, you know, get over the top. Oza, Oza, a great defenseman. He's, you know, he's a great puck mover, shoots the puck really well, easy guy to, to play with when you're out on the ice. And um, for me, you know, I, I'm just, uh, you know, I just, I just like to go out there and compete and play hard. And, um, you know, I have, you know, a knack for offense, you know, I've kind of, you know, always been able to put up points and I uh, just want to come in there and, and play my game and play hard and, and, and let that, uh, let that stuff take care of, you know, take care of itself. And, um, you know, this, this is a team, you know, when we, we were fighting for the playoffs, you know, two years ago before COVID, uh, we were battling with, you know, down the stretch. And um, I just remember how hard they were to play against, how hard that building was to come in and, you know, how deep they were. So just to go in there and, um, you know, help them get over the top and, you know, I'm just excited for the challenge. We'll go next to Ian McIntyre, Sportsnet. Hi, Connor. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your relationship with Jack Rathbone and, and what he's told you about the team? Yeah, but Bones, he's, um, he's an awesome kid. Um, he's a couple of years younger than me. Um, first time I saw him skate was before he was even drafted. Uh, he, I, uh, I ran a uh, three-on-three skate on uh, Tuesday nights and he came and I knew he was going to be an NHL player that first night. He's so talented and uh, he's one of my good friends, someone I, I skate with and, uh, and golf with in the summer. So uh, I'll see him tomorrow morning as well. And we're both really excited. He's told me, um, you know, when I first started hearing about, you know, it being a possibility, uh, I'm kind of a planner. So I just said like, where do, where do guys live? And I don't even know if the trade was going to happen, but I was just like, just in case. So he was telling me all about it and how beautiful it is and, and what a great locker room they have. So uh, I'm really excited to get there. And uh, yeah, he, he said nothing but good things about, about the city and the team. And we're going to uh, talk to, I hope we're going to talk to OEL tomorrow, but uh, as his teammate, uh, how hard do you think this season was for him after all that happened after the previous season and then it turns out he's not traded but clearly he knows that they don't really want him there um it seems like a pretty difficult situation for both sides yeah it's an, it's probably just an awkward situation um he had such a good playoff bubble for us as well and then you know obviously here in your you're trying to get your team's trying to move you. And, uh, you know, I dealt with that a little bit at, at the, uh, at the trade deadline this year it was my first time hearing that. And it's not easy playing with that. And he had to go through it a full season. So I could only imagine, and you know, that's part of the job though. And um, you know, you know, we wanted them there. We, we, he's a terrific player. Like I said earlier, he, he, he can really dominate games. And he did that for us in the bubble kind of, uh, you know, it was a big part of us winning our first round, our series against Nashville a couple of years ago. So I'm excited to see how he does with a fresh start. Um, you know, he was, he was someone when I came up and, and played in camps, you know, and while I was still in junior, it was, it was kind of crazy watching how good he was and how he just dominated in camp and it, it looked easy for him. So I'm excited to see how well he does, uh, you know, on a new team. We'll go next to Patrick Johnston, sports, uh, sorry, post media. Hey, Connor, uh, welcome to Vancouver. I got to talk to Peter, your agent. Um, he was very excited about coming to Vancouver and had a lot of praise for Travis Green. He thought you, uh, you know, that he would be a really good coach for you. What do you know about uh, sort of Travis? And I mean, you touched a little bit on the playing style, but what do you know about, you know, sort of the Canucks and, and the way they play? Well, they just played hard and um, it seemed like guys who, you know, played hard were rewarded. And, um, you know, it, it seems like from what I've heard from guys that have played for him, they all love playing for him. And, um, you know, if you play well, you're playing hard, you're going to play. So that's, that's all you can really ask for as a player is, uh, you know, if you come and you compete then then you'll be rewarded with ice time. So that's, that's what you want. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited. You know, I was fortunate enough to play, uh, you know, for, uh, Rick talk at the last four years. And, you know, I think they're pretty similar in that sense where, you know, if you're playing, you're going to play. So, um, yeah, it just, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to, you know, have a new challenge and, um, you know, just, you know, to play for him, uh, I'm looking forward to that. 
Patrick, did you have a follow-up? Okay, I'll take that as a no. We'll go next to Bic Nazar, Sportsnet 650. Hey, Connor, thank you for doing this. Uh, from a stylistic point of view, is, is there a type of center that you feel like your game meshes with well? Um, I don't know. They, they, I mean, I, I think, um, you know, they got two great centermen here and obviously they just traded for, uh, you know, Jason Dickinson, um, you know, was another great centerman. Um, but I, I mean, I was a huge fan of Pedersen watching him my first year in the league. Um, he reverse hit me my first shift in Vancouver. Um, and I was like, wow, this guy's, this guy's pretty good as I was chasing him up the ice. So, and then obviously Bo, you know, you saw what he did in the playoffs in the bubble, uh, you know, just, just two terrific players. So, um, I don't know. It's a hard question. I, I, I just like to, you know, play a hard game, try to get the puck, you know, below the goal line of the, you know, make plays, you know, I kind of, you know, view myself as a pass first kind of guy, but you know, I'm going to score my goals in tight, uh, you know, off rebounds, deflection, stuff like that. So, you know, I just want to be an easy guy to play with. And, and I think both of them are too. So it shouldn't be a problem. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. We'll go next to Barry delay global sports. Hey, Connor, uh, just um, wondering what you think. Uh, I mean, you've had three very good years already in this league, but what uh, what the upside can be for you playing with this young, talented uh, core in Vancouver? Yeah, it's, it's um, you know, they have a great, they already have a great group of guys there, you know, and I, and I, and I feel like I, I'm pretty, at a pretty good place. I can just come in and try to help them, you know, be a little better. You know, they already have Besser and Miller and, and all these guys on the wing, and, you know, I can come in and just, you know, should be a little bit better. And um, for me, I, I feel like I'm just starting, you know, I, I've only played 160 games and, you know, last year was the first year I really felt comfortable the year before I was, you know, started on the fourth line and um, kind of worked my way up. And, and last year was the first year I was placed in the top six to start the year and, and kind of stayed there the whole season and had a pretty good year, you know, not great, but a pretty good year. And I feel like I can keep getting better and better each year. You know, I got a long ways to go in my development and, uh, and to become the player I think I am. So, I'm excited and, um, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be fun playing with a lot of talented guys. Uh, I mean, you're not a big guy physically, but I, I think when you watch you play, you play big, you're not afraid to get in front of the net, maybe like a Gallagher kind of guy. Talk a bit about how important the grit quotient is on the way you play. Yeah. I just think you're born with it. I think, um, you know, to be a small guy in the league, you have to be on the, you know, on the interior. It's hard to make it as, you know, a perimeter player when you're, when you're five, seven, five, eight, like myself. And, um, you know, I grew up watching Marshawn and Gallagher and, you know, guys like that. So, um, you know, you learned a lot from them and yeah, I just, I, you just, you, you can't be scared out there. I'm not really scared of scared of much out there. You're going to get hit once in a while and you just take it and, and keep moving. So, um, you know, I just like to stand in front of the net. That's where the goals are. So it's, uh, it's better standing there where, where, where they're coming. Okay, we have time for a couple more here. We'll go to Daniel Wagner with Vancouver is awesome. Hi, right, Connor. Welcome to Vancouver. Um, I saw a quote uh, coming out of your 2019-20 season where you felt like you had just proved that you were an NHL player. Uh, what do you think you proved this past season and what are you looking to prove in the coming year? That's a good question. I don't know what I proved. Uh, you know, I, I think I just established myself as, you know, as a pretty good NHL player this year. Um, you know, I put up some decent points this year and, and, and played about 18 minutes a night. So, you know, that, that, that means you're counting on, you know, both sides of the ice um, and me and, you know, Rick talk at this year worked a lot on that. I, I'm helping me become more, you know, defensively reliable is uh, so you can be a first line player in the league. You can't, if you're uh, if you, if you can't play on the other side of the puck. So that helped a ton. And um you know, I, I still, like I said, I still feel like I have a long ways to go. I think, um, you know, you learn something new each and every game. And, you know, I think I'm only at 160 games. So, I, you know, I, I got a lot more to learn. And I feel like, you know, 25 years old, I'm, I'm still pretty young. And, you know, I, I feel like I'm just entering my prime. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes, you know, especially on a new team with some pretty terrific players to, to, to play with. I saw a quote where you said you like went up against Brent Burns and you, you tried to push him and he just didn't move. Um, what have you learned about how to use your size to your advantage in the NHL uh, to maybe use it in a way that's unexpected? Yeah, I, I played as a 15 year old against uh, 20 year olds. And that's when I really started to learn, you know, basically you learned you're small and uh, how do you deal with that? And 
Uh, you learn how to use your body against older people. And, um, you know, then you run into a guy like Brent, Brent Burns who's six, six and can fly. So you learn how you learn how to play against that. So no, I, like I said, every, each and every game you're, you're learning more and more. And, um, you know, I've made adjustments to my game, how I skate and, you know, you know, the height of my stick, stuff like that. So I, I I've been getting better and better each year. And I think I'm going to continue that. And, um, yeah, I remember that. I mean, it was my first game in the NHL. So I just realized not to push him anymore, just try to get under his hands or something. So like I said, you just, if you get better, better each game, you're, you're going to become a better player. All right. We'll take two more here. We'll go next to Chris Faber, Canucks Army. Hey, Connor, welcome to Vancouver. And uh, you kind of talked about it a few times, 160 games into your career. Uh, I'm wondering, is this, is this an exciting moment for you looking at the young players that you might be playing with here, young, skilled offensive players? Do you feel like it's time for you to explode offensively when you get to Vancouver? Yeah, it's a good way to put it. I feel like uh, there's a lot more in my game and, um, you know, you know, to be able to play with a guy like Pedersen or Horvat's going to help a ton. They, you know, these are guys that put up points each and every year and, you know, to be able to, you know, give them the puck and get the puck from them is going to help a ton. And, um, you know, it's just, it, there's, there's a lot of excitement now. I mean, I was saying it's, it's really kind of the first time I'm going into the year where, you know, you got, a, you know, a real shot at, you know, competing for a Stanley cup. And, um, you know, I said, it's not, that's not disrespect to Arizona. That's just the state where you're in. And, you know, we were battling for a playoff spot each and every year. And this year it feels like, you know, we're coming in with some high expectations and, and, and me and Oliver are really excited to, to be able to go in and play with this young core and, and help them get a, help them get better. And I think I have to ask about the mustache. Um, it is looking thick. Uh, Canucks want players that are tough to play against. Does the mustache make you tougher to play against? No, the mustache won't be won't be there come uh, opening day. I had a uh, – <laughs> I just shaved, and um, obviously I didn't have a – I didn't think I was getting traded today, so I would have shaved earlier, so nobody had to see it. But um, it's, it's, it's been around for about a week, and it doesn't have much uh, much more time. All right, we'll take one more question here from Jose Romero with AZ Central Sports. Hey, Connor. Just uh, first of all, want to want to wish you well and um, and appreciate uh, the time I got to watch you this year. Also, um, I know you're looking ahead, but if you could look back for a second, just maybe summarize or surmise what uh, what Arizona and the organization meant to you. Yeah, well, obviously I spent a lot of time there. I was drafted in 2015 and um, spent uh, two and a half years in Tucson and then two and a half years in, um, you know, with the Coyotes. So kind of split it right in half. Um, you know, it me means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, I kind of grew up there, you know, kind of went from being an 18 year old kid to now a 25 year old, you know, man. And I um, was fortunate enough to play my first NHL game there and, and did a lot of firsts, you know, like um, score my first goal there. You know, we won our first playoff series. It's There's a lot of memories there. And I have a lot of terrific friends, you know, Kells and um, Chick and Schmalty and Devo. Those are going to be tough guys to leave behind. And, um, you know, I had tough conversations with them today. But, uh, you know, I guess, you know, I have a lot of thanks there, too. I mean, I had so many people help me get get to this point. And um, some coaches in the American League, like Steve Pop, Van, John Slaney, Mike Van Ryan. I mean, there was a lot of guys that helped me get to this point. And, um, you know, a lot of thanks to the fans as well. I felt welcome, you know, every time I stepped on the ice there and, um, you know, it's, it's a special place for me and, you know, obviously it'd be nice to go back there when we play them this year. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's a great, it's a great hockey city and I'm sure they'll, they'll, uh, there'll be a great team here coming in the next few years. And, um, you know, it was, it was a great five years and now I just look forward to, for the next chapter. Good luck. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. That's all the time we have today. Thanks everyone for joining us and our thanks to Connor as well. Please stay tuned to Canucks PR on Twitter for future media availability information. Thanks, Connor. Thank you.